Here is last minute preparation for our unit 4 test on instantaneous rate of change. Chapter 4 advanced functions grade 12. The question here is consider the function f of x equals to 3x square minus 4x minus 1. Find the equation of tangent line at x equals to 1. A question like this is always expected in this test. Now uh, we'll go in for difference quotient method and find the solution. But here is a quick check for it. As we learn, instantaneous rate of change for a function like this of a polynomial function will be 2 times 3 which is 6 x minus 4. Now since we want to find equation of a tangent line at x equals to 1, we'll plug in 1 here so it will be 6 times 1 minus 4 and we are expecting answer of 2 as far as slope is concerned. Now we know the slope, we know point x value is 1, we should also find the value of the function at 1, right? I think that helps you to check your answer. But that is not the way you are going to solve in your exam. You have to follow the method taught in the class, right? So how should we do it? Our way of doing it is, we know the point is x equals to 1, first find the value of function at 1. Value of function at 1 is 3 times 1 square minus 4 times 1 minus 1, and that is 3 minus 4 minus 1. Now since we are interested in finding equation of a tangent line, we want instantaneous rate of change. That means we also want value of the function at 1 plus slightly more than 1, let it be h, then in that will be 3 times 1 plus h whole square minus 4 times 1 plus h minus 1. Expand it. When you expand it, you get 3 times 1 plus 2ab, that is 2h, plus h square minus 4 minus 4h minus 1. Now remember one thing, now what we are saying is that h is very very small as compared to 1 and therefore h square will be approaching 0, right? So this is approaching 0, therefore we can write this as 3 times 1 plus 2h, right? Minus, minus 4 minus 1 is minus 5 and we have minus 4h here, right? So this is how we can kind of reduce it to. Uh, well, you could write, expand this, you could write this as 3 plus 6h minus 5 minus 4h, which can be 6h minus 4h is indeed 2h, right? So it is 2h and 3 minus 5 is minus 2. So that is what we get as f of 1 plus h. Now instantaneous rate of change rate of change will also give you slope at x equals to 1, right? Is actually f of 1 plus h minus f of 1 divided by 1 plus h minus 1. Now we found here that f of 1 plus h is this part. Let me write this as equation 2. f of 1 is right there. We can actually calculate this value. I should calculate it. So what do we get here? 3 minus 4 is minus 1. Then we get minus 2, right? So that is f of 1. Let's say equation 1. So let's substitute these values. So we got 2h minus 2 as f of 1 plus h. So we have 2h minus 2. And minus 2 for there. So we get minus 2 divided by h, right? And that gives us, or oh, minus of minus 2 will make it, I mean I should have written minus of minus 2, and that gives us 2h over h. So you can cancel out h and you get 2 as your answer. So once you cancel h, you get 2 as your answer, correct? So instantaneous rate of change, or the slope of your tangent line at the given point, which is x equals to 1, is indeed 2, as we expected. Do you see that? So that is 
uh, that is what we expect. So we know slope is this. We also know that the point is, now we can find the equation of line, correct? So we are now trying to find equation of tangent line. So let's go to the next part, which is equation of tangent line. And what we know here is that the slope of this tangent line is 2 and the point of interest is x is 1. Value the function at 1 is minus 2. Right? So you can use point slope form or slope intercept form to find the equation. Right? So if I use point slope form, which is y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1, I get the equation as y minus minus 2 which is y plus 2 equals to m is 2 times x minus x1 is 1 correct so from here we can rearrange it and write this as y equals to bringing 2 on that side we get 2x minus 2 minus 2 right so we have equation as y equals to 2x minus 4 as the equation of the tangent line right some of you who would like to use uh, y equals to mx plus b can also use this equation, right? Slope, you know, is 2. And, uh, and then you can plug in the point 1 and minus 2. Find the y-intercept and get your equation, right? I hope this method helps you to do it in a very neat and clear way. So follow these steps and try to do using difference quotient method, right? This is difference quotient method, right? So once you find instantaneous rate of change, find the equation of the line and then figure it out. I hope that helps. So those of you who have subscribed will get this video immediately. Some may miss. So I'll suggest that please subscribe at the earliest. Thank you and all the best.